Hi, this is Graham Cleary from Sophos. Are you fed up with those messages spreading across Facebook saying this girl killed herself after a dad posted on her wall or a harmless prank turned to tragedy or even now you can finally see who's been viewing your profile? Well, all of these scams work as survey scams. If you click on the links, you are typically asked to give permission to a third party application to be able to access your profile, which means they can then post messages to your profile, which will spread their messages further. Why are they spreading these messages? Well, typically they're trying to take you to an online survey and the scammers behind these attacks make money the more people who take their surveys. So best defense is not to click on these links in the first place, uh, let alone allow the application to have access to your profile. But what if you have done that? Well, you'll probably find inside your profile that you've got messages like this. So your status has been updated by the app and the app has also put messages in your newsfeed. So you can click on the X and you can either remove the post or what I'm actually gonna recommend you do is remove the application. In this case, it's called True Story. So we're going to zap that and removing the app and removing any other posts which it's made mean that you're not going to be spreading this message onto your pals. Now there's a way of checking whether the app is there or not. You can go into your privacy settings and click on applications and websites and here it will list all the applications which have rights which you're currently using. On this profile I'm now not using any which is terrific. But imagine I hadn't got rid of those rogue applications, if I hadn't revoked their rights, what would I see then? Well, let's take a look now. If I go into the settings on privacy and click on applications and websites, I can see that I have a number of applications here which I don't actually want to be able to write to my Facebook page. So I'm going to zap them just by clicking on the X again and they will disappear. There you are, I've removed True Story there's a couple of others I have here as well on this example. And this means they can no longer post to my Facebook page. So you have to do this as well as removing the messages from your newsfeed. Finally, go into your profile information. And just make sure there aren't any pages you've liked that you're not expecting because you may wish to remove any ones which have appeared there as well. Keep up to date with the latest security threats on Facebook and elsewhere by joining us on Facebook or visiting our website at nakedsecurity.sovos.com. Until next time, stay secure.